Hey guys, my name is Matt Houghton. I'm a video marketer and a green screen enthusiast. And in this set of videos, I'm gonna take you through everything you need to know to get started with green screen so you can take your videos from this to this and start making some really nice looking videos for your video marketing. Okay, so let's take a look at hardware or the basic things that you're gonna to need to get going with green screen. And there's three fundamental things that you're gonna need, and that is lights, camera, and a green backdrop. But don't worry, you don't have to go mad, you don't have to spend thousands of dollars on lighting and, and the camera equipment and everything, although you can if you want to, you don't have to. You can get started on a very, very low budget and you can make some really good videos. So the first thing is lighting, and I would really recommend softbox lights, although I'm not using softbox lights in here, I'm using fluorescent strip lights. Fluorescent strip lights are absolutely fine, and the real key is to get as much light on your green screen as possible, and get that green to be as, as even as you can, okay? So <clears throat> the reason I'm using fluorescent lights in here is because I'm in a very tight space, and if I use softbox lights, I get the umbrellas come right in very close to me, okay? So I've got two lights to the side of me and I've got a light above here. If I was to, was to be using softbox lights, I would have uh, two softbox lights pointing on my green screen. I'd have a softbox light above pointing on my green screen. I would actually be stood slightly in front of those lights and I would have two more shining on me, okay? But that's in an ideal world and you don't really need to go that far. Just two softbox lights would be perfectly adequate uh, if you're in a well-lit room that would be perfectly fine. And you can pick up softbox lights really, really cheap from eBay, Amazon, places like that. So you don't have to spend mega money on them either. <clears throat> the next thing you're gonna need is uh, a green backdrop, just like the one you can see behind me right now. Uh, and this is a muslin backdrop, which I've pinned uh, tight like this. And you can see I've got a couple of crinkles up here and up here. You haven't really got to worry too much about crinkles because they don't really affect, affect it much unless they're cast in a big shadow. And when we edit that out, we can just crop the sides off. So the, the really important part that you need is the part that's around yourself or your subject, whoever you're filming, okay? Uh, you can get the Muslim cloths, again, eBay, Amazon, really, really cheap, or you can get uh, green screen paint, so you can paint your own wall. You can even use normal household paint, but I would recommend that you get a muslin because I've tested both ways and it's much easier if you use a muslin. I think it's because of the way the, the light reflects. <clears throat> so you'll need a muslin cloth. And the next thing you're gonna need is a camera. If you don't have a camera, I would recommend you use a DLSR camera. If you don't have a camera, you can use your phone. iPhones are particularly good. Uh, you know, Samsung um, Galaxy uh, phones have a really good camera on. If you're using an Android, just double check because some of those cameras are, you know, are the quality of the lenses are quite low as well, okay? So if you've got a reasonably good uh, camera on your phone, then you can just use your phone, okay? Which most people already have. So that's the three basic and fundamental things that you're gonna need to set up your green screen studio. So let's go ahead and take a look at what software you're gonna need. 